You know what starts filming today? Avengers 2. That's happening right now. I think in Africa. South Africa or something? I don't know. I forgot where. I didn't write it up yet. But yes. Avengers 2. Or Avengers Age of Ultron. It's currently filming right now. Starting. First day. Just think about that. Pants are coming off. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here. I'm going to bring you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm going to find it for you and tell you about it. Yeah. I appreciate you clicking in as always, so let's talk some movies. Zack Snyder talks a little bit more about his Batman vs. Superman movie, of course. Nothing really too new. He talks, um, he talks about the influence of the Dark Knight Returns graphic novel, which is like, duh! Obviously, when they announced it at Comic-Con, you know, it was announced with that that quote right out of the graphic novel, so obviously we already knew that, buddy. And we know that in that movie, and that one's all good. <laughs> it's all good. Just show us a fucking bat suit. He also talks a little bit more about Ben Affleck being cast as Batman, which is cool. I have it down below in the balls area. You can check it out. See all, all he had to say. Not much new, but still check it out. And the TV show Gotham finally has its young Jim Gordon. That is Ben McKenzie. Yes, he's been around the block. Well. You know what's actually funny is he played the voice of Batman in 2011 in the uh, Batman Year One, the animated movie. It was actually a pretty good movie, but yeah, he used the voice of Batman, so there you go. He's already dipped his toe in the Batman swimming pool a little bit. And they also cast um, the other characters, like an Alfred, a uh, Penguin, Cos Oswald Cobblepot, and uh, I think like a Riddler or something. I don't know. Young, not, not really known names, so I didn't really uh, check it out just yet. But it should be interesting as long as... They can make it dark and gritty. I don't know if they're going to be able to pull it off, but we'll see. Guys, this is funny. This actually makes me laugh. This actually makes me laugh. Go ahead and watch that. Working for Marvel, the Super Bowl commercial. Did you get a lot of reaction to that Super Bowl commercial? What Super Bowl commercial? Oh, you know what? I've been my mistake. I, you know see, what? what? See, you're, you're as crazy as the people on Twitter. Right. I'm not Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> That's my fault. Oh, I know boy. that. That was my fault. Uh, my mistake. You know what? We don't all look alike. Fuck <laughs> you're exactly right. all black and famous. You but are guilty. Look I am <laughs> yes, this only proves my theory that Sam Rubin is a phony douchebag. I don't watch the KTLA morning news. I don't watch news, period, because I think news is terrible and newscasters are just freaking robots reading off a piece of paper. They're not really digging up stuff and everything. I just can't stand it. But I do watch KTLA Channel 5 and I watch reruns of Family Guy as well as Two and a Half Men and I always see the commercials for the morning show and I always see that stupid fat face of his. Sam Rubin, he's the entertainment reporter and I kept thinking, this guy is gonna be like, what, reviewing movies and talking about celebrity trash and all that bullshit and tell you about this and that and everything? Is he really like even love film or movies or anything like that and this shows you right here because he confused samuel l jackson with lawrence fishburne how the fuck do you do that simply because he's a newscaster he don't do shit see when i do my stuff and guess what i'm researching i'm putting it all together i'm not getting paid a crap ton of money just to sit there with my fat face and my double chin going blah, blah, blah. sorry i just i as you can see you could you can really see my distaste for the man. But yeah, anyways, that was embarrassing, which he deserved. And of course, Sam Jackson rebuttaled with a bunch of um, uh, like racial stuff. Like, you know, we all don't look alike, man. But it was pretty funny because it's, I mean, you could look at it like that. He made Sam Rubin look like a racist prick. <laughs> And it's funny too because Sam Rubin issued an, an apology, and then he, but he, he, this is how, this is how much of a pompous prude he is, is that the fact that he still wouldn't accept blame. Like he still didn't want to admit that he messed up. He still admitted that, oh, I actually meant the Captain America 2 trailer. Bullshit! Once Sam Jackson said what commercial, you would have said Captain America 2. But you were like, uh, 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 mommy! Terrible! Terrible, and this is why I, was, ugh, I can't stand it. Can't stand the guy. Man, I could do a way better job than he can. And that's what he and Sam Jackson said. That he's all, it must be a short line to do your job. That is very true. There's no line to do his job. Because, well, if they opened it, guess what? My little nephew, 11 year old, 11 years old, could do a better job. Almost, I didn't know how to say 11 years old. Reboots and remakes. Escape from New York. Yes, classic John Carpenter. Science fiction film starring Kurt Russell as Snake Bliskin. Very well done movie, very dark, very gritty. Sequel is not that great, but yes. 
Escape from New York is getting the remake treatment, of course. You knew it was going to happen, and uh, producer Joel Silver, he's done a lot. Die Hard movies, Matrix movies. This guy, when it comes to action movies, this guy is usually the producer. I mean, he just, meh. He wants to uh, remake Escape from New York, but they want a story that will stretch through a trilogy. That's interesting. And then he compared it to Batman Arkham Asylum. No, it wasn't Arkham Asylum, it was Arkham City. Because he, he, basically the tone of that game is there's Arkham City, it's just kind of walled off and it's just like a, a just a shit freaking butthole of Gotham City. So I guess with the story, like this time around, they want to like more, you know, show off that, why New York became this way, how it started, why the walls came up. And then of course the familiar story of President's daughter gets cop captured and blah, blah, blah. Pretty interesting stuff. If they can capture the dark and gritty nature of Batman Arkham City and put it in this movie, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Anyways, guys, that's all the movie news I wanted to talk about. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also visit filmjunkie.com if you haven't. Up-to-date movie news, movie trailers, film reviews, all that fun stuff. Well, all right, guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and I brought you some movie news you can find on your own, but I found it for you and told you about it. You're welcome. Yeah. Huh, Sam Rubin. If you're watching, bud, I could take your job if you want. Nah, I wouldn't sell myself out like that. Newscasters. Can't stand them. Can't stand them. Robots. I am a robot.